Michaels. So I thought I would give vlogging a go and bring you guys along so you can see what I find, how shopping goes, and what I decide to pick up. All right, so the, there's two Michaels in New York City. One of them, as I see some lights, is actually down a set of escalators. So we're going to, um, we're going to go down. So I've got my coupon that they gave us at Go Wilds for 50% off. And then I have a list. I actually came to Michael's with a list. So I'm out of undo, so we need that. I am making these cupcake toppers for my siblings graduation party next weekend so I need to get some supplies for that. I need a new pencil sharpener and then I'm gonna take a look at these at these um, sticker books. So the first place I got distracted were these um, Happy Planner sticker books. They are 40% off. So let's see they've got fitness, sports, pregnancy, don't need that one, budget, faith, Hmm. Let's see. Let's I think I'm going to go with the quotes one because I know that I'll get use out of this. All right, I got pulled I got pulled in by this journal display. I can't I have a hard time saying no to cute journals with quotes on the front and they're all 5 bucks. I mean, another journal is exactly the opposite of what I need. But how cute is this one? This like holographic cover. Hmm. Do you see what I see? Look at all this washi. You guys, more washi is exactly the last thing that I need, but it's 50% off. Now we got some of these rolls at Go Wild, so I'm gonna have to investigate them a lot more. Oh, look at these flip flops. Yeah, I think I need this one. I have now been at Michael's for like 10 minutes and I haven't even gotten anything that's on my list. Not one thing. Guys, I found this Happy Planner sticker set with all of these boxes. Now the real question is, will they fit in my Erin Condren? Off to find a ruler. All right, I found a ruler. So now we're gonna measure, I'm trying to get as close as possible to like where the sticker starts and stops. It looks like it's ex pretty much exactly one and a half inches, which would be perfect for my Erin Condren. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a find. I'm finally getting the first thing on my list and it is the last one left. I come to mama. I found the dilution section of the shore. It looks like this um, sticker book that we gotta go wild is the only one they have. So, um, so much for that being on my list. She's cute stuff though. I wish I was artsy enough to use it. All right, I couldn't find 110 pound white. They had it in like every other color. So I'm just gonna do the 65 and do it back to back, right? Cause then it'll be 130, right? Just as thick. Okay, so I'm getting lollipop sticks to make these cupcake topper toppers for my siblings. And it looks like my options are 50 for two dollars or 150 for five bucks i need 48 but 50 makes me nervous that i can't mess up but i don't really need 150. Hmm. all right not gonna lie having a blast but i'm still not used to like the awkward looks people give me when i'm filming they're like why are you filming that washi tape I found stickers. Again, not nothing I need, of course. I don't need any of this, but look at these cute little books on the bottom. They're little books of stickers. And yep, I'm gonna open all of them up and see which ones need to come home with me. All right, get myself out of here before I spend a bunch of money. All right, that's a wrap. I'm headed out. Um, when I get home, I will film a haul video for you guys to see everything. Let me show you guys what I picked up at Michael's. So we'll start with the slightly less exciting stuff. I got a new pencil sharpener. So I actually used to have this pencil sharpener. I got it when I bought my Prismacolor, Prismacolor, however you say it, colored pencils, and then I left it on an airplane. So I just wanted to replace it. 
The other not as exciting thing I just got another one of is undo. But I'm telling y'all, this stuff is magical. It can get the most permanent sticker off of your planner without ruining anything. It's amazing. I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. So if you've never tried this and you have stickers that you want to remove, and maybe not even from your planner, from anything, this stuff is amazing. All right, let's get into the planner stuff. So the $5 notebook display that I walked by, I ended up getting this one. So I, I've always sort of remembered my dreams, but I've been having some really vivid dreams lately. And so I wanted to start a dream journal. And so of course, rather than use one of the bazillion blank notebooks that I already own, I bought a new one and I thought the stars, I thought it was just sort of perfect for that. All right, now the washi. Um, you guys saw me pick up this one which has the cute flip-flops, the tropical drinks, and the bikinis. It's just perfect summer washi too. And at 50% off, who can say no? And then I also picked up this skinny washi, which this one all the way over here really reminds me of my new Erin Condren cover with all the little triangles. So I couldn't resist. I just thought it was cute. All right, now the stickers. So the tiny recollections sticker books. I ended up getting this travel one. I thought it's the one I would get the most use of out of all the options. So I'm going to flip through that. And then you guys saw me pick up this happy planner sticker book that has um, all the different squares and rectangles and, and half boxes and full boxes in all kinds of different colors. And you saw me measure it and it looked like it was gonna fit in my Erin Condren. Now it's time for the Everybody needs one. This is amazing and it's perfect for travel because it has all the different colors. It's easy just to mark stuff in your planner. I love this. I will be taking it with me on my trip next week. All right, the last thing I have to show you, you didn't actually see in the vlog. I put the quotes happy planner sticker book in my cart and I was going to purchase it. And then I came across another happy planner sticker book display and I found one about food it has it's all about food it just it it's amazing i love it i'm gonna flip through it for y'all because it's that great That's it. Well, I did get the supplies to make the cupcake toppers for my siblings. So if you are interested in seeing how I made those, keep watching because I did film a quick tutorial on how I did it. If you have no desire to see the cupcake toppers, then thanks for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye. So I have two younger siblings graduating high school next week and we're having a graduation party for them. One is headed off to the University of Illinois and the other is headed to DePaul. Now U of I stuff is very easy to find, plates, napkins, etc. DePaul is not so popular, so it is very difficult to find stuff. So I did some Googling and I found a blog that talked about making your own cupcake toppers. So I will link the blog below. I told my mom to get generic um, cupcakes in their colors and then I would make cupcake toppers to stick in all of the cupcakes. So all I did was print out the logos on 65 pound cardstock and then cut them in my silhouette machine, which is the machine I usually use to make stickers. I have that link down below in my Amazon shop link. And then I will walk you guys through how I've been making them. So first I start off by putting a line down the middle for the stick. I try to do as close to the, to the center as possible and then a little circle around the outside. And then I stick the stick in the middle. I flip it over to make sure that it's centered on the guy's face. And then I put another one whoa, on top. 
And then you kind of got to awkwardly hold all the sides so that it glues, so that the glue dries. It The glue dries pretty quickly, um, but you kind of got to like awkwardly make sure all the sides are sticking. And, um, and that's it. First, I was a little concerned. I was going to try and make them all the same height, but the truth is they will, I can put them in the cupcake more or less to make them the same, same height. And you know, they're not perfect, but let's be real. People are going to look at them and say, oh, that's cute. And then take it out and eat the cupcake. So that's it. Now I'm off to go make like 20 more for each school. 